Hi, Doug Stamun with IT Creations, bringing you the latest hot or at least warm tech news. This week, we're looking at new SSDs from Seagate, more GPUs from Nvidia, and new Radeon cards from AMD. Sometimes I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Did you know? If you want super fast access to your files, or if you want your server or professional workstation to start up faster, then the go-to is a PCIe-mounted M.2 NVMe SSD, which offers access speeds up to four times faster than traditional SSD drives. Seagate just announced an industry-first 2TB M.2 drive, which features more than twice the capacity of the previous Nitro M.2 flash card. These are ideal for use in cloud and data center applications where speed and processing power in a little bitty space is important. These drives are also a great addition to demanding enterprise applications like online transaction processing, high performance computing, and big data analytics. It can also enable data centers to create more virtual machines on the fly without adding more servers. It only leaches about seven watts of power, which is the same as the one terabyte version, and can do up to 30,000 IOPS per watt for 270,000 total IOPS, a slight gain in speed over the previous version. We're so spoiled. You can purchase the new and improved high capacity Nitro drives through Seagate channel providers starting in November of this year. Is it just me, or does it seem like Nvidia just continues to pump out new GPUs like every month? This month at the SIGGRAPH conference, Nvidia announced a few new Quadro family GPUs for enterprise equipment. The P6000 and P5000 feature the new Pascal architecture and are successors to the M6000 and M5000 based off of the Maxwell 2 architecture. This is of course right on the heels of the consumer version, Titan X Pascal GPU we discussed in our last episode. In case you didn't make the connection, the P is for Pascal. Both the new Pascal GPUs offer significant performance and feature upgrades over their predecessors. The P6000, like the M6000 released just a few short months back, supports 24 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory. This is also the first Pascal card to support ECC. Like the Maxwell version, the new P6000 uses 250 watts and sports the same casing as the M6000 cards. The P6000 is rated for 12 teraflops with a clock speed of 1560 megahertz. It offers better performance in shading and render output units throughput. Compare that to the Titan X and you'll notice the P6000 offers a 9% performance increase. Sorry Titan X, you were only king for a day. Next, the P5000, which is the less expensive sibling to the P6000. In a nutshell, it offers much better performance over the previous version with 16 gigabytes instead of eight gigabytes and offers performance similar to the consumer version GeForce GTX 1080. However, this is a professional version for workstation and supports ECC. Quite impressive. Whereas the P5000 is not as powerful as the P6000, what it lacks in performance, it makes up for in affordability and a much greater performance boost over the previous M5000 card. Both draw about the same power, so they should be a direct drop in replacement for older generation cards. AMD was also at the SIGGRAPH conference and had a few GPU announcements of their own. The brand new Radeon Pro WX series of professional graphics cards designed for professional workstations and applications in design, science, and engineering. Three cards were announced. The Radeon Pro WX 7100, 5100, and 4100 GPUs. These cards use the new Polaris family of GPUs and are built with open source software in mind. These cards feature varying degrees of affordability and features, many of which have yet to be announced, but so far the news is promising. Each of these cards features four ports for connecting monitors with up to 5K resolution, four of them. The WX4100 uses four mini port displays to fit all four on the low profile design. AMD is fully committed to going open source and presents their Radeon Render Pro rendering engine with plugins for many 3D rendering programs. Autodesk Maya is coming soon for you world creators out there. Pricing has yet to be determined, but should be under 1,000 for the whole product line. But keep in mind, these are usually installed on OEM equipment, so most customers won't buy the cards directly. However, HP announced the new WX series will be supported on HP workstations, which hopefully will launch in Q4 of this year with the new Radeon Pro WX series GPUs. Well, that's it for this week. Click one of the links below if you'd like more information on any of these topics. Like and subscribe and comment. I'm Doug Stuman, and now you know.